Hey guys, happy Friday, and today I'm filming my November favorites video. Um, I'm back. I'm a little blonder. I got my hair done the other day, so it's obviously a favorite. We went all the way to the root with the blonde, so I'm now back to my blonde self all the way. I've been doing like a brown balayage thing for a while, but we're back in blonder. And I'm also wearing a t-shirt because it's like 100 degrees in my house, and I tried to wear a sweater, and it was just it was too hot, so couldn't do that. Also, tomorrow, Vlogmas starts! So I'm filming Vlogmas today, and the first day of Vlogmas will come out tomorrow, so you should definitely subscribe down below if you guys want to be your home for that, because it's going to be a fun time. I'm going to be vlogging every single day of December up until Christmas. Let's see if I can do it, because... I don't know if I can, <laughs> but it's already so much fun to vlog for you guys. I've been vlogging all day, so you get to see kind of the behind the scenes of this video. So subscribe down below and comment down below which your November favorites are because I'd love to hear about it. So let's get into the favorites. Um, I've been doing a lot of makeup this month. Like I've been very into makeup, I think it's because it's like it cooled down a little bit. So I wasn't like sweating off my makeup like I am today because it's, I don't even know if it's hot outside. I haven't been outside, but it's hot in my house. So, so first thing. First, my first makeup favorite is this Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I usually use the... Here, I can show you guys. I should have pulled that before. During the summer, I've been using the dewy and smooth version of that. But I wanted a more like matte look, even though I love flowy makeup just for the winter time. And I really like it. I think it's honestly better than the dewy and smooth one. It covers more. It's like very medium to full coverage you can build it up flawless so that's what i'm wearing on my face today and i've been loving that and to pair with that i have cheated on my nars shape tape and i've been using the maybelline better skin and i really like it it's lighter than that i'm not wearing it there i'm wearing this tart shape tape because i'm gonna be taking pictures tonight and i like more like my dark circles to be covered more but i really like this for just like an everyday look it's very light and like natural looking i really like it um, to set that, I've been using this NYX Banana Powder, and I'm almost at pan. I use a wet beauty blender, and I tap it into there, and then I tap it under my eyes. That's how I set my under eyes. And it's just like a yellowy shade because then you won't have any, like, flashback under your eyes in photos. Um, because when you use, like, a translucent or a white one, you can have flashback in photos, and it can really brighten that area, but it also can... Do that so this brightens that area but doesn't have flashback and photos it makes it look really natural and good so it's a NYX HD finishing powder um to be doing my eyebrows have been a big favorite I have very thick very dark eyebrows especially for someone with blonde hair so to do my eyebrows I used only three products and my trusty Anastasia brow Wiz in medium brown and I use this on the outer edge I don't go in the middle with it just on the outer to like do the tip and then on the inside like in this part I use this Essence Makey Brow which is $2.99 and it's a dupe for the Benefit some it's a Benefit like brow product I don't know what it's called but it's just got like a little I don't know if that's gonna focus um a little thing like this and you just run that through your eyebrows it also helps me lighten my eyebrows a little bit and make that pencil less sharp and to set all that I used in a this has no like writing on it. The Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And it just like is like hairspray for your brows. It keeps it all in place. So that's why my eyebrows and I've been loving how my eyebrows have looked this month. So that's that. I have a lot of makeup favorites this month because I'm really into makeup this month. Um my next favorite is a highlight, but not just a highlight. So I love this highlight. It's the highlight I've been using for a month. It's the Anastasia um not Anastasia. Brain fart. It's the Becca Shimmering Skin Protect Perfector in Champagne Pop. It's Jaclyn Hill's highlight. But what I've been loving about it is taking this brush right here and dipping it into that and highlighting the inner corners with the same highlight I use my cheeks, which is this. And I just think it like ties the look together. I did it today. I don't know if it picks up on camera, but I've really been enjoying that. And my last makeup favorite is a palette I've been using for like the past three months, but really this month for where my shelly looks. And I have broke, like this has been damaged. I literally dropped it this morning and black eyeshadow went everywhere. Um, the mirror fell out. This stuff has been through some stuff. It's great for traveling, but it's the Urban Decay Naked 
Naked Ultimate Basics palette and it's all matte but I just love using these three shades and this purple right here to do like a warm smoky look which is what I have on today I don't know if you can see but I like it because I really like these shades I wish that it had some light shimmers but it works for me I just used another palette for shimmer colors but I really like how these blend they're really pretty they're the perfect warm shade for me and I really like it so my first skincare favorite I can't remember if I put this in here last month and I was too lazy to pull up the video so in case I did Sorry, I love it still, but in case I didn't, it started getting colder and my skin started getting drier, and so I pulled this out from under my cabinet. I bought it last year, and I really didn't ever use it. Like, it just kind of, just a couple times, really didn't like it, and then I saw Kinsey Elizabeth using it, and I was like, hmm, I should try that. So I've been using the, this Ultra Repair Cream. I've used a ton of it. Like, I'm using it. I use it every night. I don't use it in the morning because it's a little too heavy for morning time, but it's the Ultra Repair Cream and Intense Hydration. And I really like it. It works really good. It's really dirty and grimy, but it's just very thick moisturizer. Great for the winter time, great for the cold time, because I have really dry, dehydrated skin. So, this is a staple. My next skincare favorite is this Mario Badesco Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. I love the Aloe one way more than I love the rose one. I got the rose one and I ended up giving it to a friend because I didn't like it. But this one I love. Like I've already used half the bottle and I'll repurchase it time after time. I use it like after my toner, before my moisturizer just to give myself some hydration. I've also used it as a setting spray and I really liked it. So, and it's only $7 for like a big thing. So it's a really good product. Really versatile for traveling. Like you can bring <laughs> you can bring this and you don't have to bring a setting spray. Oh, I almost forgot. Duh. Um, another makeup favorite. Let's go back to makeup favorites because I suck. Another, my, one of my makeup favorites is a recommendation by Jaclyn Hill. And it's really dirty, so I'm really sorry. But it's a um, Morphe sponge. I've been using a beauty blender forever, but I went out of a limb on her recommendation for to use the Morphe sponge. And I really like it. It feels really, it's really dirty. Um, it feels really rough, like, when it's not wet. But once it's wet, it's so soft and bouncy, and it works so well. And I love, like, how easy it is to hold. I love how flat this bottom part is. I just have cat hair all over me. That's disgusting, Katie. Um... I don't know what's going on with this brush, the sponge, but it's, I really love it. It's only $7 at Ulta, and I think it's a really good sponge. I know there's been, like, controversy on whether or not, like, if it's tough, if it's awful, if Jaclyn Hill lies to all of us and just supports whatever Morphe does, but I like it, and I think she's telling the truth, so that's just my opinion. Um, back to skincare, a mask I've been loving this month is the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. I got this little sample from Sephora and it's honestly lasted me forever. I love this for my cheeks because I have a lot, a lot of texture on my cheeks and I think it does a good job of kind of clearing that up. So I like it. I'm probably going to repurchase it in the full size. Another skincare favorite is this Avene Hydrants Intense Serum. Um, I got this in a birch box. It's a little travel size. And I just use this like under my nose and around my nose and like here because I get really bad dry patches all around my mouth. And it kind of like, it makes those go away. Like it just adds a little zap of like moisture right there. And I really like it. Um, another skincare favorite, I guess this is skincare, is the Smith's Rosebud Self. And I also have the little tub one, but I love the Smith's like tube salve way more like I think it just so works so good it's a lot more sanitary it's six dollars it's just kind of high for chapstick but I have them like sporadically placed everywhere in my life because I just love them so much Um, another, I guess it's a skincare, I don't know, the soap I've been loving this month is the African Black Soap, and I get mine from TJ Maxx because it's a lot cheaper than buying it anywhere else, um, and I just think it, like, works well for dry skin, it doesn't irritate my skin, it doesn't, like, I have, like, eczema on my, uh, arms a lot, and just, like, really dry, flaky skin, and I think it does a good job of, like, cleansing me, but also not 
stripping my skin. Um, this is a new one, obviously, because the other one's in my shower and it doesn't have a label on it. So, definitely recommend that. I wonder how many times I've said definitely recommend that in this video. We should count. <laughs> okay. Uh, the toothpaste I've been loving this month is kind of weird. It's a charcoal toothpaste. So it's black, which was like really weird. My toothbrush looks really disgusting because like it's black, like it's black. <laughs> but it's to whiten your teeth and I honestly have seen such a difference in my teeth since using this. I can't whiten my teeth with like strips and stuff because my teeth are so sensitive that if like if I do it, I'm not able to eat the next day because my teeth hurt so badly. So I quit whitening my teeth like six months ago. I was like, you know what? This is just... This just isn't worth it to me. Like, it's not worth me being in pain to have wider teeth. Like, I just don't want that. So, I've been looking for, like, a toothpaste to whiten my teeth gradually. And this works really good. I love the flavor of it. It's like a peppermint one. It's... I don't notice that my breath stinks any more than normal. And it works good. Uh, it's really weird, though, when you're, like, brushing your teeth. It's honestly kind of cool because your teeth are black. <laughs> and my next favorite is this dry shampoo. It's my trusty Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dark Shampoo. Um... Previously, I, I do wash my hair pretty much every day, but this month I've like gotten real lazy with it and it's gotten to the point where I don't want to be like, Katie, wash your hair because it looks disgusting, but I can go a good like three days not washing my hair with this sh dry shampoo. It works so good. It also works really well just for volume and stuff and I just, I put this to the test this month and I just remembered how much I love it because it's so good. So, that's it. On to my random favorites, um, a curling iron. I have had this trusty Conair, I honestly don't know what it's called. It's a Conair curling iron, it's a red one. You see them everywhere. Um, and I was using some other curling irons and I went back to this one and I just remembered how good it is. It's like 20 bucks. It's real good. I really like it, so. And then my next random favorite is a candle. Every Every month I have a candle, and it's always a different candle. I'm obsessed with candles. I just finished another Marshmallow Fireside, and I have a problem. But this one is Fresh Balsam, and Adam actually picked it out, and it smells like a Christmas tree. Because I've been celebrating Christmas for the last three weeks. Um, I'm ahead of the game. So, I'm going to have to get another one, though, because I just ran out my Marshmallow Fireside. And right now I'm burning a pumpkin one, because I had it, and I don't want to burn this one, because I don't want to burn through it. The, like, the first week of December, and I have to buy, like, four more candles, but I'm going to anyway. It just feels so... <sighs> just hit my face with it. Uh, Katie, you suck. I didn't mess anything up. Um, it smells so good. I just want to burn this now because it smells so good. And my last favorite is a planner. Well, not my last. I have music favorites. Um, so I got, get, I've been using this planner for a little bit now. It's from Target. And it's just like a gold 2017-2018 planner. And I just love it because I can put my, like, schedule in it. Like, highlight. I like to highlight things. So I can highlight blocks and I can plan out my day with it. And, like, tell myself to eat, tell myself to do this. And then it also has, like, the monthly. So I can do, like, overviews on my videos. Everything. So, I love this planner. It makes my life happy just to sit here and plan and procrastinate actually doing work by planning it. And then, obviously, this month, my favorite, if you watch any of my vlogs, you know, Taylor Swift's reputation is bomb. So, if you like this video, hit the like button down before. I really appreciate it, and it really helps my channel. Also, subscribe, because Vlogmas starts tomorrow, and I am so excited for that. And videos will continue coming up, like sit-down videos, every Friday, but I'll also be uploading vlogs on this channel every single day of December, so I'm so excited to do that once again, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!